other places look like sand. <clears throat> Here they uh, they don't do any fattening. They just um, it's just for caffeine. For caffeine. For caffeine. Yeah. He has uh, Nellor all light in Nellor. Nellor. Nellor, right? Nellor, and they give uh, maize silage, napier, fresh napier every day. They cut a little bit and sorghum. Okay. And they have all these three four. How many days are these napier? Uh, it's in a period of quantity days. Esse que é colhendo aí. 65 dias. 65 dias. E quantos cortes dá no ano? Então dá 360 por 60 dias. 360 por 60 dias. Dá 650 dias. 6 cortes por ano. 6 cortes por ano. Esse aqui, eles só cortaram 20 dias antes. Ele já está crescendo. Esse aqui é o short. Can you tell me what is the road distance of this Napier? One point, uh, it's around four... Um, four feet? So almost four feet. Almost four feet. Almost four feet. And what is the age of these plants? Like, uh, that one, when did you plant that Napier? That one? Yeah. When did you plant it? It's with... Um ano, dois anos? Não, esse aqui, esse daqui é o segundo corte. Segundo corte. Segundo corte. It's around a hundred and half a year. Um, three months ago. Uh, it's the full planted? It's the second cut. Okay, it's the second, second cut. cut. Yeah. Okay. It's the second cut. And how many years they can take a cut? E dá para cortar quanto tempo o Napier? Aqui lá, ó, pode olhar o jeito que tá. Aqui lá já tá com dois anos. Tô cerado. <laughs> that one has two year old. That okay. Napier, that. that one, okay. It was planted two years back. Uh -huh. uh, da pra, da pra... Um, fertilizing and uh, all the, the good practice of uh, crop, it can go five, six, seven years. Seven years. But they are having a good results with Nellor, with the Napier. They cut and they are ready fertilizing. Oh, okay. Very important. Almost four. Three feet and eleven inches. Yeah. The road to road distance. Yep. Okay.
अगर प्रैक्टिकली देखा जाए कि इनका जो पहिए है एक पहिया इधर है इधर एक पहिया इधर है तो नेपियर के ऊपर पहिए नहीं आ रहे हैं आज हम लोग ब्राज़ील में हैं तो ब्राज़ील में आज हम ये नेपियर फार्म है यहाँ पर इनके पास अराउंड 400 अपनी नेलोर जो इंडिया में नेलोर होती हैं वाली काउज है इनके पास तो ये पूरे साल चारे को ऐसे करते हैं कि छः महीने तो नेपियर है इनके पास तो नेपियर काटते हैं अपने हार्वेस्टर से जे के हार्वेस्टर से और बाकी छः महीने सैलेज इस्तेमाल करते हैं ये लोग सूखी घास वगैरह नहीं खिलाते क्योंकि इनका मानना है कि नेपियर ही वह ड्राई मेटर अच्छा होता है सूखी घास का वो काम कर जाती है तो ड्राई मेटर का काम नेपियर कर रही है बाकी ये लोग सैलेज बना रहे हैं तो आज हम फार्मर से बात करेंगे कि मशीन इनकी कैसी चल रही है 
So then how the machine is working since how many years the farmer is using the machine? This uh, this is actually the first the first year they are, they are harvesting with the with the machine and they are harvesting napier also they will make uh, maize silage okay uh, they have 400 animals especially for calvin and uh, the machine is doing very good very good uh, in helping um, them to uh, improve the feeding of animals one very nice uh, hint that he gave us he said he's always looking at the rpm on the tractor if the rpm starts to drop because you can see it's it's a quite it's quite quite high napier quite high more or less uh, uh, 12 feet maybe uh, uh, so when the rpm starts to drop he breaks the tractor a little bit until the revolution comes up again okay very nice hint he gave us all right thank you like 60 days working they have been working uh, every day uh, in 60 days 60 days every day working for fresh feed with napier and what are the results performance very good. for the cows uh e depois tem depois começou a cortar com ela serviu alguma é muito mais rápido before before that they used to cut by hand and chop on that on that uh, machine over there but now it's much more it's much faster uh, so they can use their time for doing other other uh, activities in the what farm. is the cutting quality they are getting cutting quality so let's come here and see. This is very important it's very precise cutting according uh, to him is very important very important for silage because uh, you have more cracking of the grains and you have better compactation on the silage and less spoilage okay very important to have a very precise machine so like uh, this much uh, at what size they are crushing this uh, napier what cut uh, size they are cutting around four four millimeter so millimeter. they think that uh, four and five millimeter give uh, benefit to the animal what is the benefit they think benefit is uh, you have better compactation on silage for the so fresh less, less spoilage for the fresh like napier for so napier there is less less waste less waste because if you cut on a um, machine that cannot have a precise and, and finer uh, you can uh, there is a lot of waste the cattle can separate all the big leaves and they they you're going to have a lot of waste but before he's uh, uh, crushing so in he, he's actually cutting more okay he's actually cut, cutting more and uh, uh, eating more so before he the, they are using the local machine for yeah, crushing they are using a, a local hand fed uh, machine okay so it took a lot of time and but in the, the local chop, machine the chop, the chop, the chop is big was not as good as this so what is the difference between big chop quality and small chip quality according to him the animal health okay uh she asked ki quando começou a cortar isso aqui o animal come mais or mais he thinks the animal eats more because he doesn't have too much waste. And for the napier, if he do bigger chop, so what is the drawbacks? What is the not good? Se ele cortar um pouco mais longo, tem algum problema? Ou se cortar mais longo, ele pega milhões? É. He also uh, just he he always have been doing fine, but he says if you cut a little bit longer, also uh, the cattle will eat as long as it's a precise uh, machine. Because some machines, if you put longer chop sizes, it will give big, big, long um, pieces, and then the cattle will waste it. Okay, and it for needs to be a, a precise for even a, a medium size uh, cut size. Okay. Okay. Um, before, when he used to chop on a hand-fed machine, on a chaff cutter, uh, he used to uh, spend the whole morning from six to twelve, um, six in the morning to noon. Uh, cutting and feeding the machine. Nowadays, he starts at six, seven thirty. He has all the feed onto his cattle, so he has uh, he has more than five or, or five or six times faster. How many cattle do they have? Four hundred. Four hundred. Uh, Four hundred. And um, also, uh, they have a very clean cut. You can see very clean cut, which is very good for the regrowth. Okay, and. They have measured 
the tractor not to go over the plants. So that's very good also for uh, the regrowth of the napier. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay. He's planting more or less at five feet, five and a half feet. Because he says it will grow to the sides also. Okay, as you cut, it will grow to the sides. Uh, and also it's easier for mechanization if you have the space. It makes much better and easier the mechanization of the harvest. Okay. Let's go. Was planted in the sorghum was planted in uh, December 18th. Okay. So now we are going it's going to be two months old. Two months old sorghum. Yeah. They will make a silage of this. Yeah, they will make silage. Yeah, e e every cut it will start to grow grow more and more uh, sprouts. Okay, like each and each and every stalks cut, just give three or four more stalks. That means it will grow more and more. Uh, this one will go for the fourth, fourth cut. Fourth cut? Yeah. Fourth cut? Yeah.